housing the homeless and boosting businesses in Chinatown. Good evening, I'm Yanji Dini. And I'm Kenny Choi. It's a problem that's decades old, but city and state officials hope that some changes in the near future will steer the problem in the right direction. For business owners in Chinatown, homeless people hanging out near their stores is happening too often. Our business is decreasing because the homeless around, sleeping around our doors. Uh, it's very difficult for us to breed. So please help us as soon as you can. The River of Life Mission on Powahi Street feeds the homeless and provides bathrooms with showers for them to use on a regular basis. We don't only service the people that in need that had, doesn't have a home. We service the community. We have food box ministry. One of the solutions could be the safe haven expansion at Powahi Hale, a proposed city housing project to help service the neediest families. We know that this small percentage of people cost the most in terms of all of our services. So if we just up front gave them the services that we need, we would actually save money and save lives. With Safe Haven having to move from their current location to this proposed uh, location, it's a ray of light for us to have 24-7 bathrooms. And, and that is very critical to us for our sanitation. City officials say they're working on an island-wide strategy for more affordable housing, including giving developers more incentives and updating zoning laws to allow accessory dwelling units to be added onto existing single family lots. It's a, a accessory dwelling units is to take Ohana units and take the Ohana part out of it. And actually say can we build more smaller units as a part of, of the lots that are already there. It's something that we know will be able to create more housing supply for those who live uh, across our island. And for a link to the details of the city's plan you could visit the as seen on section of KITV.com.